In my last video, we ran AZD init to generate all the infra and the Azure YAML for this project. In this video, we're gonna configure that GitHub repo so it has all the information it needs to talk to Azure. So whenever we push a code change, it will automatically be deployed to our Azure resources. Unfortunately, that AZD init command does not include a GitHub workflow file. So let's just go ahead and create that. I'll leave a link to this GitHub workflow in the description as well. So this is everything necessary to get that all up and running, including the permissions. And then it's going to log into Azure using the federated identity credentials. And then it's gonna call AZD provision and AZD deploy. Now that I have that workflow, I'm gonna simply come here to the terminal and run AZD pipeline config. This command is gonna automate a lot of the process you need to set up federated identity credential between your GitHub repo and Azure. I actually created a video for how to set this up manually. I created an SH script that would do all of the necessary things to set this up. Thankfully, the AZD team turned this into the AZD pipeline config command. So if you want to learn more about all the things that happen, you can take a look at the link that I'll have in the description for that. So back to VS code, it says, do you want to initialize a new Git repository in this directory? We're going to hit enter. The default is yes. You say, how would you like to configure your Git remote to GitHub? Select an existing, create a new, or enter remote URL directly. We're gonna create a new, enter a name. If we hit enter, it'll just use the name of the project. We're just gonna hit enter. So part of AZD pipeline config, it's gonna create that service principle that you need inside of your GitHub repo to communicate with Azure. Then it created the federated identity credential that's used to communicate with Azure and set all the appropriate GitHub variables. It's saying GitHub action secrets are now configured. You can view GitHub action secrets that were created at this link. Let's take a look at that. So here we are, we have the variables here, client ID, environment name, location, subscription ID, and tenant ID. So inside of that workflow, you'll notice that we read in all of those appropriate variables and then use that when we log into Azure here. So I was saying, would you like to commit and push your local changes to start the configured CI pipeline? I'm gonna hit enter. All right, a link to view the new repo and a link to view the pipeline status. Another cool thing about using AZD in your pipelines is that you can go right to the portal from the logs. You can customize your workflow to do anything you want. In this case, it's gonna do an AZD provision and an AZD deploy. You could obviously just call AZD up, but we wanted to call that out as two separate steps. That way you can easily comment out AZD provision if all you wanna do is deploy the code. It's now moved on to deploying the application to Azure. So that finished deploying and it spit out an endpoint. I'm gonna hit that endpoint here and you can see that it was provisioned to that container app. So back in VS Code, I've updated the message from hello world to hello GitHub Actions, and I'm just gonna push again so we can see what that looks like. It's done with that deployment and it printed out that URL. We're just gonna hit that. It should say hello GitHub Actions. Let's review what we did in this video. We added an Azure Dev YAML file. That includes everything you need to connect your GitHub repo to Azure, including logging in with federated identity credential. Then we ran azd pipeline config which is gonna do all the setup that you need to communicate from your GitHub repo to Azure, including creating the service principle, the Entra app, as well as the federated identity credentials. So once that's all set up, whenever you commit and push code to GitHub, it's automatically gonna provision and deploy that code to Azure. If you like these kind of short videos, let me know by liking and subscribing, and I'll keep creating them. Thanks.